Henry Nestle. <gasps> Henry, the Nestle chocolate guy? He's German? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another amazing video. We are going to be checking out what do these Germans have in common besides the fact that they make the best beer on the entire planet. We're talking about specifically the, the individuals that this gentleman is talking about today. We're going to be reacting to that. I feel like he deserves a lot more exposure. We're going to be reacting to this together, having a nice little discussion. Before you enter the realm that you are about to enter, welcome to the Bray Gang. Go ahead and do yourselves a huge favor and smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. I'm going to say it one more time so you can go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you. Danke. Oish. I appreciate y'all. Welcome to the Bray Gang. We're going to go ahead and check this thing out. He makes a lot of really good videos, a lot of insightful videos on the culture in Germany. You know, I've never been to Germany, but I am absolutely up. Sess. Why? Because besides the fact that most of you guys that are following me are, you guys are German, I do plan on traveling out there and I will be beyond informed as far as what to do, what to see, what to eat, what to partake in when I do get to the country. So I do a lot of talking that you probably got that from this whole intro and stuff like that. Let's not waste any more time. I will have the original link to this gentleman's YouTube channel in the description down below. Please support this amazing man. Also, go show some love to the original Yay! video and then come back and watch my thoughts on this and whatnot. I'm gonna have a lot of questions. I always have a lot of questions. So let's go ahead and check this out and see um, exactly what he's talking about. Los Goods. And welcome back to another video. He has such a soothing voice. He's like, Welcome back to another video. We gotta help him blow up. So if you don't know me already, my name is Benny Con. I make videos about Germany, German culture, and a living in Germany as an expat. Hey, okay. We love that because I'm living by curiously through you. Tell me about it. What What's the life like out there? What's the food like? What's the oxygen levels like out there in Deutschland, man? I heard they got a lot of trees. Let me know what's up. Today, we are looking at five famous German personalities. Germany is seen as the powerhouse of Europe. It is. It's an economic powerhouse. Germany right now is dropping its pants and quite literally taking a gigantic brown surprise on the rest of the world's economic climate. And you guys are doing your thing. Standing up, that's dope. It has really had a turbulent history with many, many famous Germans coming from this country and changing the world as we know it today. These five personalities who I'm gonna to present to you today all have one thing in common. Stay till the end to see if you can guess what it is before I reveal it at the end. Well, I will try my best. Chat! We're gonna try our best to guess exactly what he's about to give us um, before he gives it to us. So our first famous German personality is a family. It's a family, okay. Let's let's turn our listening ears on. First German personality, it's a family. This is like, like charades, let's go. And it is the Rothschild family. The Rothschild family. I don't know anything about the Rothschild family. I've heard of Rothschild. I don't know what that is. It sounds like a stock market like share thing or whatever. And I'm kind of laughing at this because in English, we would pronounce it as a Rothschild. Oh, but you guys would pronounce it Rothschild, right? And funnily enough, when I came to Germany, I heard some, some people talking about the Rothschild family. Rothschild. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know y'all pronounced it like that. And I did not put two and two together. I did not realize that we were actually talking about the same thing. I would have been very perplexed myself. I'm like, what the hell did you do Rothschild. Because it sounds really quite a different pronunciation. But we're talking about the Rothschild family. So the Rothschild, Rothschild family Rothschild is an old family. Ashkenazi Jewish family. Oh, wow. Their beginnings can be traced back to the 1500s in Frankfurt in the Judengasse where they started their business. And they really kind of uh, started their rise to prominence in the 1700s. Wow. And by the 1900s, they had the biggest private wealth in modern history. What? Really? So the, the, the Rothschilds were like the wealthiest uh, family at the time. I guess financial powerhouses. So how did they build this up? Well, it started like I said, I think it was in the Cuz they're a bank, right? Rothschild is that's like a that's like a bank company type thing, right? 17. They were Wall Street basically. Oh my gosh. 
That is intense. Maya Acha, he had five sons and he placed each of his sons in the capitals, the trading and finance capitals of the time. So that was in London, Paris, Frankfurt, Vienna and Naples, funnily enough, not today. But these were the most important cities of the time. And he had a son in each of these capitals where they basically started their trading business. They founded banks. This family is really one of the world's richest and really changed the way that people thought. Of so are they like Elon Musk rich or are they like Kim Kardashian rich? Are they like Lil Pump rich or like Anneli Choppa rich? SoundCloud rapper rich. I just got my first six figure job rich. How rich are we talking? Combine more like three Elon Musks. You know how much money Elon Musk is worth right now? That man is on track to becoming the world's first singular trillionaire. Trillionaire. Let that sink in. There has not been a trillionaire yet. There have been companies that have hit a trillion dollars like Apple is worth two trillion right now and climbing. But Elon Musk is on track to becoming the world's first trillionaire. And you're gonna tell me that the Rothschild, Rothschild family is worth three Elon Musks. That right there is intense. Bro, they can get away with anything. They can get away with anything. Like nothing we say will ever matter as long as they're there. Yeah, Cause like they can pay, they can pay for us to disappear. If I accidentally made a Rothschild family member upset i could be a, a a blip on the map like they would make me disappear and get away with it like that's that's crazy right like everybody can be bought king really incredible to think that they came from germany and that they are still operating today many many years also random question um in germany do y'all say yacht or do you just say yacht we say yacht we call those boats like yachts and stuff do y'all call them yachts y'all actually say yacht oh damn yacht yeah, damn, that's crazy. Later. Our second famous German is a juggernaut when it comes to philosophy, thinking, and that. It's Einstein. It's Einstein. I'm calling it now. It's Einstein. He's talking about Einstein. Who thinks it's Einstein? It's not Einstein? Ah, oh, it's dead be too obvious. Goethe, 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 Goethe. Is am I saying his name right? Goethe. The arts, and it is the Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Goethe! Johann Wolfgang from Goethe. Oh, damn! But you know what's crazy? You guys tell me all the time that you go over, like, his books and stuff in, like, school and whatnot. Like, there's, like, material that you guys read. Oh, dick. Because everybody makes jokes about that, too. There's, like, memes about the Goethe, like, books and stuff in high school. Dang. Goethe, Goethe. And he That's is tough, man. with being the most influential thinker in the German language. And so he was the most influential thinker. Oh, you guys had you guys had to study him. You guys had to. There was no choice. Y'all had to study this man. Comment down below what your experience was like learning the Goethe method. If you think about this, this is really saying a lot. So Germany had many really very influ influential thinkers and philosophers like Immanuel Kant and Nietzsche and Johann von uh, Wolfgang von Goethe was a playwright. He was also a poet and a thinker. He was born in Frankfurt am Main. He studied law in Leipzig and then so, wer in der Demokratie schläft, wacht in der Diktatur auf. Okay. And he spent much of his adult life in Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Weimar. His house, the Goethe House, can actually be visited today in Frankfurt. You can see how he used to live. His rooms, his bedroom is still kind of set up how it used to be when he was living there. And he has had a massive, massive impact on the way um, people think, even today. The next person on my list, I did not actually realize that he was German until I started researching this video. So it came in quite, as quite a shock to me that Henry Nestler. Henry Nestler? <gasps> Henry! The Nestle chocolate guy? He's German? He's German? Nestle chocolate, like the hot chocolate dude? The water dude? 
He's German! I thought he was Swiss too! I thought he was Swiss! Oh, that's He's German. I always thought of Nestle as being Swiss. I mean, the company is Swiss, but um, Henry Nestle. So the company of Swiss. Nestle was born in Frankfurt am Main, and he did his Ausbildung, his training, in an apotheca, in a in a pharmacy in Frankfurt am Main on the Tungesgasse. And I was, I find this amazing because. Bro, 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 bro. This is a W like commentator right here. This is a W commentary. W video, guys. Chat, this is a W video. This guy right here secured the dubski. What the hell? This is... You just blew my mind. You just blew my mind. What? I'm going to go to sleep tonight and my entire life is going to be changed. I'm, my, my entire life is going to be changed because of this video. Guys, you need to subscribe to this man. Please. And also myself. But subscribe to that man. <laughs> The Tungusgasse is still a street in Frankfurt. You can walk down it, you can have coffee, you can go shopping. There is an Aldi on Tungusgasse. And it's just funny for me to think that um, this was kind of, you know, the beginning of Nestle. So he did not actually start it in Frankfurt. He emigrated to Switzerland in his 20s. Wow. And then he started the company sometime around 1867. A now Nestle. W move for moving to Switzerland, though. Switzerland is big lit it's honestly big lit uh, i'm sure all of you know i don't need to um introduce this company it has a huge massive global reach it's one oh of the yes that company is literally dunking on most candy companies man biggest companies in the entire world and it all started in germany that's crazy bro that is crazy now the next person on my list is um somebody that really yeah gained influence through her legacy so it is rather a tragic story but the story of anne frank the oh man this was one of the first books to make me cry bro like i, I read this book when i was like a like 10 or 11 and I was, oh man, I was crying. I was crying, like crying, crying, bro. Like, it, like her story was so sad and very scary. It was terrifying, very terrifying. Like what she went through was absolutely horrific, horrific. Is it true that her story is still big in the USA? I mean, in schools and stuff? Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. A Jewish girl who hid from the Nazis in the Netherlands and documented her terrifying ordeal through her diary. Now the diary was then published shortly after the end of the war. And from this diary, from telling stories, from Also, I can't remember, how did she wind up passing? I, I forgot, because she wound up, she did get discovered. She did get discovered from what I remember. It's been a long time, but she got found out right and then she got put in a concentration camp during the experience that she had she really gained prominence and really has become one of the faces of this terrible and horrifying ordeal so and she got betrayed and was brought to a concentration camp oh my god bro was it like one of her friends that turned her in i i this story is like something that it's been a long time. I forgot the details. Frank um, was born in 1929 in Frankfurt am Main, and her whole family was then unfortunately, you know, uh, hunted by the Nazis. And um, this was basically her legacy. You can you can read all about her story. You can um, follow her her story in her journal in the Jewish Museum in Frankfurt. And this is my fourth personality. Are you noticing a trend? Can you see the common ones? Can you see what they all have in common yet? We're coming historical figures to the last personality on the list. And this is another one who I did not actually realize was German. And it is Peter Thiel. Now, Peter Thiel, if you don't know, is the co-founder of the massive payments platform PayPal. He was all what? Really? 
also the first outside investor in Facebook and has many other um, uh, investments going on. He's a huge billionaire. He does have a US citizenship. So he was born in Frankfurt am Main and emigrated to the US with his parents when he was around one year old. And it was in the US that he um, started uh, having an interest in tech and in business. And he famously or controversially uh, attained the citizen of citizenship of New Zealand through investing in the company. So those are my five famous personalities who have changed the world forever or as we know it. What do you think their commonality was? What do they all have in common? Yeah, well, some, one of you guys said that like they were all born in Frankfurt. They all were born in Frankfurt. Oh, see, Frankfurt. Frankfurt are mine. These five famous people have their roots deeply uh, set in Frankfurt are mine. There they we go. Born here. Many of them lived here. Damn, bruh. <laughs> yeah, Frankfurt are mine is the city where I live. That's basically why I chose this topic. Oh, um, but I find cool. it really thoroughly interesting, fascinating that you can be walking down a street, sitting in a cafe, going to a restaurant, going shopping and you are walking in the footsteps of some of these people. Bye-bye, see you next This dude is super legit. Um, please, 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 please go subscribe to him. I'll leave his link in the description down below. And, um, you know, very informative. And you guys obviously like kept me informed the whole time too. So uh, this was insane.